you do. We hope you have a moment or two to listen to what we have to say to each and every one of you. It concerns our postal system. Our lifetime friends, as all of you know, they've never failed us through the years. Through driving rain, sleet or snow, but now they've got a problem. Oh, what are they to do? The answer, my friend, is very simple. It's up to you to see them through. Well, back in the days of the 13 colonies, cry was freedom and how to defend it. Mailing a letter wasn't much trouble. There weren't too many places to send it. But now it's a different story. They've got more mail than ever before. It's stuffed in bags, stacked on shelves. There's hardly room for anything more. There's been a mail explosion. They've got a terrible load. You've got to help them right away before you. Nearly 80 billion pieces of mail. Literally, the post office stands to be swamped, overwhelmed, drowned in a sea of mail. Where do we go from here? The Postmaster General of the United States, the Honorable Lawrence F. O'Brien. One way we can measure the success of our zip code program is by the number of foreign countries who send us their postal specialists to study our system and to determine how much of it is adaptable for their own purposes. They come because of a simple fact. Zip code works. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do postal clerks get indigestion? There are many reasons. I won't bother to list them. It's all the stamp glue we take into our systems. I guess that's as logical as a man could get. But that's not the reason for their stomach upset. It's from trying to read the American hand, illegibly written throughout the land. This letter will prove exactly what we've said. The name of the city simply can't be read. Oakdale. Oakfield. Oakhurst. Oak Park. Oakwood. Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa? Tuscaloosa? I got a letter here for somebody from Springfield. Springfield? I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts, and I'll fell in your foul. There's no place I'd rather be. I'm from Springfield, Pennsylvania, and there's been a mistake. This letter is apparently for me. I'm from Springfield, Arizona, and I want you to know I've been waiting for this letter since a week and ago. Oh, what you does it do? To send a letter my way when I'm from Springfield, you and me. Zip code. Mail distribution via the straight line. Always the shortest distance between two distant points. Zip code. Five trailblazing numbers like this one. Launch every piece of mail with space age speed and precision. The first digit tells in which part of the nation your letter will find its destination. The next two digits go hand in hand to a major post office over land. Since each big section has town after town. We need these numbers to really narrow things down. These last two digits are really specific. They're your local post office number. Terrific! It's a better deal than you get from any other post office department. Yes, zip code is a better deal. Moving the mail in one straight line. You know you gotta have a zip code, yeah, you're not beyond the clock. A zip code, yeah, you know you wanna have a clock. A zip code, yeah, you're not in the town. And everything will be all right. Well, meet a fella called Mr. Zip. What he can do for you will really make you flip. So, so if you have any further postal demands, we're gonna leave you with his hands. You know you gotta have a zip code. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,